Why won't courts test competing child custody and parent time proposals during the pretrial phase of a case? Do you want to know where the real money is most often made in divorce and family law cases? Child custody and parent time disputes, hands down. Rarely do the parents agree on what the child custody and parent time schedules should be. One parent wants, or says he or she wants, things one way. One parent wants, or says he or she wants, them another way. There are many reasons why, which could be the subject of numerous videos, even several hours of video, but in a nutshell, the reasons boil down to a few main categories and in the following order. Money, spite, and genuine concern for the children. Money, because one gets or pays more money depending upon how many overnights the children spend in a particular parent's custody. Spite, because many parents use or try to use a parent's love for his or her children to wound that parent emotionally and psychologically by scheming to deprive a parent and child of spending time together. And finally, sometimes, rarely, there is a genuine dispute over whether a parent is fit to exercise the amount of custody and parent time that he or she seeks because there are so often ulterior motives behind a parent's proposed custody and or parent time schedule. The true test of what schedule realistically subserves the best interest of the children is not, cannot be, which parent is the most credible. That's way too subjective and fallible a standard. Instead, and so long as each parent's proposed custody and or parent time schedule is reasonable on its face, why not try them both? Why not compare them? Why not see whether the kids do best with one or the other or neither? Rather than determine the custody and or parent time schedule on pure or mostly speculative bases, such as, I imagine, believe, or hope that this proposed but unimplemented, untested schedule will work better than the other unimplemented, untested schedule. Why do that? Instead, why not have the court implement, compare, contrast, and test competing child custody and parent time schedules during the pretrial, or what's known as the pendente lit, discovery phase of a child custody and or parent time dispute case? That way, the court has hard, real-world, case-specific, family-specific data to analyze and on which to base its custody and or parent time orders. In 27 years of practice, I have never had a court implement, compare, contrast, and test competing child custody and parent time schedules during the pretrial pendente lead discovery phase of a child custody and or parent time dispute case. As long as the conflicting proposals are not obviously deleterious to the children, it's fairly arrogant of anyone, parent or judge, to contend that, quote, we will implement one and only one parent time or custody schedule during the months or years these proceedings are pending in this court. It drives me up the wall when I get to trial in those situations, and then the court tells me, well, there's no evidence that the temporary schedule, the so-called temporary schedule that's been in place the entire pendency of the case on the basis of nothing but a proffer hearing, there's no evidence that this does not work. Well, of course it works. It works in a sense, not because it's best for the kids, not because it's been shown to be best of the proposed schedules, but because we have no idea if anything else is better or worse. It's not because the kids support it or benefit from it. They were given no other choice and no other experience. It's maddening when courts take the position of, I won't order your client's proposed schedule because you and your client never proved it works. Well, of course we didn't prove it, your honor. You saw to it that we couldn't. It's a winning schedule, if you want to call it that, not by virtue of its merits, but by default. It was never proven best for the children. It was imposed by force of inertia. It is impossible to know whether, and thus to claim that, a decision was in the best interest of the children when best efforts were never made in reaching that decision. Put the parents proposed competing custody and parent time schedules to a real world test. Implement them both for a period of sufficient time 
to give them a fair chance to prove a success or failure. Perhaps one will emerge as the clearly superior schedule. Perhaps both schedules will prove inferior to a different schedule that reveals itself in the process of comparing and testing the competing parent time and custody schedules against each other. There is no good reason, from a general policy perspective, why a court could not or should not, as a general policy, implement and then compare, contrast, and test competing child custody and parent time schedules during the pretrial or pendente lit discovery phases of a child custody and or parent time dispute case. Indeed, the children, parents, and court have everything to gain from such a practice and nothing to lose by adopting such a practice. Thank you.